A group gathered to sign way for clean elections along the Kalani Anaole Avenue in Hilo on Friday. We spoke with Justin Avery of Global Hope about the timing of the rally. Here, here we are, and uh, we were uh, 60, there were 60 of us plus today, uh, supporting clean elections, all different uh, walks of life, uh, younger, older, it was so nice to see all these uh, uh, UH Hilo, HCC students out here, um, some older folks, um, younger folks, um, richer folks, some um, poorer folks, all who have the same interest in improving democracy, improving our democracy, and seeing people uh, better represent presented through this clean elections program. So we're doing that, um, doing this, um, this, this rally here uh, for clean elections to support House Bill 2533, which is essentially we've been trying to pass clean elections and we did it successfully a few years ago for the County Council of Hawaii County. Uh, we've been trying for years to pass it for the entire state legislature, for uh, the governor, for different counties, but we run into a lot of struggles and there's a lot of folks who rather uh, elected office be determined by the amount of money that you can raise as opposed to the amount of public support that you can get. And so we're here and we'll be here now and for forever until we can get clean elections passed in the state of Hawaii on all levels because it truly is the reform that makes all other reforms possible. Uh, it gives uh, uh, folks an opportunity who have a genuine interest in their community, uh, making their community a better place, representing their constituents to focus on the issues and be supported by the people, their constituents, as opposed to having to have big, uh, you know, thousand dollar plate dinners to fundraise and um, uh, depend on developer money from Honolulu and uh, money that comes from outside of the interests of the local constituents.